the people of God had to choose between Jesus Christ and Jim Crow because you cannot serve both. And tragically, many often chose to serve Jim Crow and to rename him Jesus Christ. But the signs that were in this city 50 years ago, I am a man. Donald Trump fails the baseline test of character. Can we put up with someone and can we offer them our vote and support? When we know that that person not only sounds like what he presumes and presents as a playboy, but it's a sexual predator. This is so far over the line that I think we have to recognize we wouldn't want this man as our next door neighbor, much less as the inhabitant of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The message of Christianity is vital as we think about the whole transgender issue. Trending Questions is back. Join us for the next part in this ongoing series from the Zacharias Institute, when Sam Aubrey will be addressing the question, how can I know my gender? And with the fact that remnants and ongoing manifestations of those claims of white racial superiority continue. What that means is that you become a person who will, for example, stand up and be among the fiercest advocates for the preservation of the dignity and the rights of LGBT people. To be able to understand and empathize with uh, transgender persons. Donald Trump fails the baseline test of character. So growing up, um, he, he, here's what that looked like for me. Um, when I sat in school growing up and learned about the history of the United States of America, I, I opened up our books, I had to write reports. Uh, I saw in those books and read the stories of and wrote reports on people who looked like me. And then when I turned on the television, uh, by and large, at any moment in time, when I turned on the television, what I saw was people who looked like me. Uh, and then when I got magazines or when I got books or when I played with toys or what, what I saw repeatedly were people that that looked like me. At almost any given moment, I was surrounded by people who looked almost just like me. And so really, the, the entire experience uh, of my life has been one of, I, I can easily find people that look like me. Almost all my understanding of what made America great is because of efforts and, and the work ethic of people like me. And I'm, I come from a, a, a lower class, um, Anglo family, and, and so my story is kind of the American dream, pulled myself up by my bootstraps, right? Worked hard, learned to work hard from my daddy, um, yada, 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 right? I, I could go on and on there. But but what happens in in that kind of upbringing, which, which is fine, is that there were some lenses put over my eyes in, in which I saw the world through those lenses, um, not knowing what those lenses are. And, and so if I could kind of just be straight at what I'm talking about is, is that I, I have grown up with this invisible kind of bag of privilege. This I know that we have women in this church who have had abortions. I know that some are currently experiencing an unplanned pregnancy. And I know that we even in our church have people who work, the people that attend our church that work in some of these clinics. And I know that you entered that profession, not with any ill will, but you did it because you wanted to serve. <laughs> I get asked this question a lot because I served as a missionary among Muslims and I wrote a book called Breaking the Islam Code and I'm not trying to be evasive but he was worshiping wrongly and had wrong ideas about God. He didn't say you're worshiping a different God. He said you're worshiping, attempting to worship the one creator God the wrong way. And, and I've heard people talk about that as, as, as an approach to Muslims and I think it has some merit. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Joining me now is Dr. Russell Moore of the Southern Baptist Convention. Dr. Moore, thanks so much for joining me. Good to see you again. Good to be with you. I'm not drinking yet, Jake, but I can't say I'm not tempted.